Hi, I'm in New York today. I thought I'd talk a bit more about the architecture picture. I thought I'd talk about the support functions, both at the top and the bottom of the picture. And this uh, reference architecture at the very top, we have this the platform administration functions. Those are fairly standard security processes, maintenance processes for maintaining the platform, access to its various functions. Those are things that that are handled by most of uh, common security processes in platforms today. Below that, we have the reference data environment. Reference data and rules might be a better name for this. This environment includes both internal and external reference data. Internal reference data is going to be the things that describe the nature of the instrument ledger. It's going to describe the values that come in from our source system and are translated into platform values as it goes through the accounting rules engine and other transform engine. So these values are going to be maintained in tables, have to have a way of maintaining and updating, creating those tables. All of that sort of work goes on in the reference data environment. External reference data is going to be data that we receive either from regulators, from other bodies that maintain this, such as rates, and, uh, and other kinds of data that we can bring into the organization. It's not something we create here, but we load into the reference data environment. And from this reference data environment, we need a, the ability to do publish and subscribe kind of processes because we have to take the reference data to the fact data, the large voluminous transactional data that exists in the, in the platforms in its various places in the organization. So there needs to be a subscribe process from the reference data environment out to those kinds of functions. This process of, of publish and subscribe needs to have control around it, needs to have uh, uh, auditability, control on, on who is doing update and creation and those kinds of processes. There will also be a very significant amount of control around to the cutoff as to when the platform is going to be updated as if it's done interim period, intraday periods, it'll have to have that kind of ability, but also our regular daily cycle, uh, monthly, weekly, whatever the other cycles might be associated with the platform update. At the bottom of the architecture picture, we have additional processing functions. Now reconciliation. I've noted in my uh, discussions in this video set that reconciliation is something we're trying to eliminate. Even the instrument ledger probably won't eliminate all reconciliation. There'll probably still be processes that do posting outside of the instrument ledger for a long time to come. We have to reconcile those balances with the balances in the instrument ledger. This will require a reconciliation process. As we noted in talking about the general ledger, if the general ledger is something that does sit and continues to do posting processes within the post and store layer, in synchronous with the instrument ledger, we have to reconcile the general ledger with the instrument ledger. Sometimes, because of performance issues, we have to do incremental updates, and so we have to have some version of the history, the posted history, stored in the reporting layers in some way, just because of the speed at which we have to update uh, on the daily cycle. This might require another level of reconciliation. So there's reconciliation from the inbound, from the source system side to the platform, reconcili internal reconciliations in the platform, and there can be outbound reconciliations out to reporting and other process layers that requires. And so having a facility that allows us to automatically compare and detect when our values at, at a similar level do not reconcile will be very valuable to us. This reconciliation process may not automatically detect the cause of the breakage, but it can tell us we do have some place that did not reconcile and point to what the, the likely culprit of the problem is. Also, we need to have adjustment vehicle. Adjustment could sit within, effectively within the event capture layer or the interface layer because it's a business event capture. In the general ledger, it's one of the few kinds of business events that are captured within the finance system. So this adjustment vehicle, though, often is something that is already within platform values. Instead of being something that has to be translated into platform values, like our source systems, the adjustment vehicles already understands platform values and is able to adjust uh, platform values 
we want to always create the adjustment vehicle though uh, entering new business events. We don't want to update actual business events. We want to create new business events that the net result of which puts us to the right balances. That preserves our auditability and the principles behind business event based architectures. We also have to have air adjustment facilities. This is because our platform is not a, it's not a monolithic system that goes all the way from business event capture all the way through to reporting. If we have uh, platform values, uh, accounting rules engine where the source system has updated and, and has new kinds of products or new kinds of customers' accounts and those kinds of things, and we did not enter those values in the reference data, we will get an error when those, those transactions try to come into the platform. So an error handling facility could be linked with the adjustment facility, but we have to handle those particularly. Uh, we want to make sure that all the errors are handled before they go downstream in the platform so that we have cool data through the instrument ledger and downstream processes. We're not handling errors at every point in the platform, only on that interface layer. The last piece to the uh, other services function, other platform processes, is a platform monitor, process monitor. This gives us sense to the business as to where things are in terms of processing, what is done, what is not done, where there have been errors, where adjustments are needed, uh, where reconciliation breakages occurred. This gives an overall view of where the processing cycle is and can be helpful because still we're dealing with so much data that it does take time. It's not an instantaneous thing to update the platform. So the process monitor allows the business and the IT organization in a lesser sense to monitor what's going on in the, in the platform. Certainly IT has to monitor at a much more lower level of detail much more granular than the business needs to understand it. So with those functions, those enhance and, and create a instrument ledger platform, a risk, uh, risk and finance platform that allows us to consolidate our data supply chains and allows us to understand what those are and to use those da that data effectively in producing our reports. <laughs>